Once the new year starts, people want to change, and that includes a new hairdo. From a fresh cut to new color, you can have a whole new look after a day at the salon. Jennifer Cahill is the owner of Republic Hair Co. She joins us to chat about 2023 hair trends. Thank you for joining us today, Jennifer. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. Listen, will you tell us a little bit about your salon? So I actually just opened the salon a few months ago. It's, uh, you know, uh, it's a big thing for me, right? Like, big things happening. I love it. It's huge, yes. Yeah. So, you know, just always wanted to keep up on new things, too. Like my stylist there, we're always up on new trends. That way we can take what we learn and turn around and give it to the guests. I love that. And with the new year, people right now are looking at changing their look, changing up hairdos. And I wanted us to kind of talk a little bit about like what's on trend right now for 2023. And so I wanted to start with the uh, box bob. The box bob, it is a fun bob. I feel like we're seeing more natural textures come through with the bob. Uh, you know, before it was like the stick straight, mm -hmm. like everyone was flat ironing, super sleek. But now I feel like it's more of like a French girl bob coming back in. Mm. I know, right? Makes you want to travel. I know, but, right? <laughs> yeah, so we're just seeing more texture come in, just sleek lines with it. And, you know, sometimes you'll see a nice curtain bang with it, but it's fun. I like that. And then also tell me a little bit about the uh, candlelit brunette. So this is perfect for a brunette who wants a little bit of dimension, but they're afraid of going blonde. Uh -huh. uh, brunettes, they're perfect for dimensional gold colors, gold tones for those highlights. Ooh, and it very reflects, rich tones. Yes, yes, exactly. Adds a lot of dimension and shine. And then the shag. The shag. It's, I don't think this one's going anywhere anytime <laughs> soon. Uh, Listen, I just need to know about the shag. Are people really bringing this back in 2023? Yes, they are. I think it's kind of been around for a little bit. It started with a mullet, but then it kind of turned back into more of a shag look. But it actually works very well on most face shapes and textures. Well, I tell you what, the shag makes me think about the wolf cut. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because you've got the mullet and yes. then you've got this crazy do that's going. You've got a two in one. But let's talk about the curtain bangs because that seems to be very popular right now with a lot of long tresses. Yes, for sure. And especially since I believe it was the Gen X that brought back the center part. Mm -hmm. So now we're seeing more curtain bangs because curtain bangs go with that center part and it frames the face perfectly without committing to one of the straight bangs, like full front bang. Well, let me ask you, for people who may be terrified about change, but they are inspired because they're seeing so many looks and different trends with different celebrities, what would you suggest and how they could possibly bring in new change and new looks for themselves with hair? I definitely feel like they need to talk to their hairstylist and figure out, okay, you want something brand new, but we need to work with your lifestyle as well. We're going to we have to sit around and talk about what, how much commit, time are you going to commit to this hairstyle that you want? Is it going to work with your hair texture and your lifestyle? So definitely seek an expert on all of that. Well, tell me a little bit about your salon and how people can book an appointment with you because right now everyone is saying, I want something new and they're looking for a new stylist. So we, you can find us on Google, on Instagram, Facebook, you know, pretty much every platform like that. And then we also have a great online booking system. So sometimes people don't necessarily want to actually call and talk to a person these days. So you can always just book online. Well, I have to tell you, I am obsessed with your curls. I you. absolutely love your curls. And so uh, people who may have curly hair, natural hair, do you have a little bit of everyone coming to you with different types of hair? I do. I've always worked with, you know, straight hair, super curly hair, wavy hair. I've worked with different hair colors. I've, you know, worked with blondes, redheads, brunettes. I kind of like doing a little bit of everything. I do have some stylists in the salon that specialize in curly hair. That's kind of all they want to do. I have some stylists that work with strictly blondes, blowouts. So I always encourage stylists, what, what do you love to do? And we'll work with that. Well, let me ask you, Jennifer, because you are busy, honey. You are busy and you are booked. What is it you enjoy most about styling hair? Honestly, the people that sit in my chair, mm. I do have to say it's that connection because we're in a day and age where I feel like people don't connect as much anymore. So whenever I get clients in my chair, guests in my chair, I always just love having that connection with them. Connection. I always feel like stylists are like the best kept life coaches. Yes. <laughs> How can people make an appointment with you? Uh, calling the salon or booking online. Uh, you can reach me through Instagram as well. The salon's Instagram, Republic underscore hair underscore co. Well, I tell you what, I've enjoyed chatting with you and you're going to inspire me to grow my hair out and get some curtain bangs, honey, because yes. I want to be on trend. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining with us today. Thank you. To learn more about the services at Republic Hair Co.